Hello everyone, Alec Elcher the SideQuest Gamer here, and we really need to talk. I don't like to involve politics on this channel, but I will address the issue itself because it affects everyone negatively. Not the left, not the right, not the centrist, it affects everyone. The FCC, as of writing, is moving forward to end net neutrality. Now, net neutrality is what made the internet a free place where anyone can have a say on any issue. Anyone has the opportunity to be a somebody. And thanks to the current net neutrality rule based on the Title II of the Communications Act, we are all protected regardless of religious, political, or general beliefs. In other words, internet service providers cannot legally silence you by making your site run very slow, if at all. You go on Google, and any website that is legal can be accessed by anyone. So without these net neutrality protections, the internet service providers like Verizon or Comcast can decide which sites can and cannot be accessed by the customers. And that is not good, because it affects you, me, and everyone else. It seems like everyone nowadays is so busy talking about the very important video games and trends, like Sonic Forces character customization, and ignoring the big issues like these. So let me assist you in letting you see how it will even ruin gaming for you. These internet service providers would be allowed to deny access to their users for YouTube, maybe Xbox Live, PlayStation Network, or whatever Nintendo has for the Switch. Because those are alternative entertainment methods that people can do instead of buying their overpriced cable packages. Or who knows, maybe they will allow access to these sites that threaten their business. Behind a paywall, of course. <laughs> so if you want to watch YouTube, pay 20 more dollars or buy our $40 cable package. Xbox Live, $10. Educational sites, $50. Without net neutrality protections, this could happen and it would be legal. That's what the FCC is trying to go for, a controlled internet where the users have no say unless they pay. And we were all too busy playing in the garden with our sonic plushies and smartphone video games while these FCC thugs were preparing for this. As of writing, only YouTuber Philip DeFranco and TV personality John Oliver have reported on this issue. I might be leaving out a few people, but these are the ones who've had a voice in this so far. And I would leave a link to a petition to make our voice clear, but due to reports of fake anti-net neutrality comments using real people's names and addresses, spamming the sites with those comments, I wouldn't really recommend doing that, but instead follow Fight for the Future on Twitter. Any link they leave for petitions would be safe, and since they're a pro-freedom source of information, I trust their judgment on this issue. FCC may be pushing for this, but we can't let our House of Representatives and Senators be the next to do so. This is scary because the internet is a utility, and because there's only a few ISPs in America, it would be like if National Grid, the electric company, decided that only a certain company's light bulbs would function in your household unless you pay a set amount. It would be like if oil companies decided only four vehicles would work with their brand of gasoline. And to any citizens of foreign countries watching this, this could affect you too, because your country could be next. ISPs would love to make as much of a profit over to your neck of the woods as they would here. Now, I don't really like to do this, but if you really care about protecting net neutrality, don't go silent on this issue. Any video you see on there, share that video until it breaks the internet. Have all your friends watch that video. Have everyone be aware that this is an issue, and it's very unconstitutional in my honest opinion. If you want, you can re-upload this video to your channel, make your own video, just be vigilant about it. Make your voice on this issue heard. Thank you all so much for watching, and remember, the internet is a freedom we cannot take for granted because that freedom can be easily bought by lobbyists who control corrupt lawmakers.